I just felt like, where's my value? I'm never going to be able to do this, and I'm never going to be able to do that. I just focused on the negative. The mental effects of living with any disability, I think, you just, they're not, you can't quantify them. AMI fits the bill in everything. They understand what you're going through. It's just support. It's feeling that someone's investing in me. My name is Julie. I live in Pictou County, Nova Scotia. I am 59 years old. I'm a wife, a mother of three amazing human beings. I emigrated from England in 1989 and kind of fell backwards into a position as a private investigator. It turned out I'm really good at finding people. When I would fall over things, my mum would always say, oh, it's because you're so tall and lanky. There was always a reason for it. And then when I was 26, I went to this optometrist and, and he said, I just asked you if you had any issues with your eyes. And I said, but I don't. A lot of people can't see in the dark. He said, yeah, they can't. <laughs> So that's when he said, I think you have retinitis pigmentosa, this is what it is, you're gonna go completely blind. It was devastating. I mean, I just, the more I realized how bad things were getting, the more I shut off, the more isolated, the more angry, and I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong. And finally, I had quite the breakdown, spent six weeks in a psychiatric unit in Calgary and decided that no, things have to change. Pride is probably the biggest barrier. When I first moved to Pictou County, I felt disabled. Now I realize it was purely because of isolation. We had gone up to visit Jim's aunt and uncle and they were watching TV and I'm looking at it and I said, what are you watching? Shit, it's AMI. I came right home, put it on. Why did I not know about this thing? The first couple of times I was watching it, I was thinking, oh, I wish they had cooking shows on here, or I wish they had gardening shows on here. I wanted more information that way. And then I seen the, if you would like to be on our panel, and I thought, oh, I can do that. And it was a matter of months, and there was a cooking show on there. And then there was other stuff that was coming on. My favorite, favorite program is Ice for the Job. I mean, who doesn't love Chris? And then I discovered the podcast, so then it was just like, boom. I started volunteering and I was invited to start speaking at lunch and learns that are done in the very rural communities. People are asking questions about what's out there to help with vision. And for me, that is where AMI has become such a huge tool. It's really easy to refer them to go and listen to the podcasts, all the information you need there. I don't have to go looking for anything. All I have to do is turn AMI on and any question I have, I can find the answer to it. All those accessible apps, Be My Eyes, Seeing AI, I've learned from Double Tap Canada. The stuff that's going on in this community now just blows me away. We've got our local newspaper in an audible format now. Everybody in the community is hearing about AMI because I'm talking about it. Those everyday bits and pieces that I need to be healthy and happy and active in my community, I'm learning from AMI.